sharing. It's a good thing to teach our kids. To teach them to not be a hog. Share that video game controller. Don't hog the game to yourself. Share some of your money. Don't be so greedy. Share a story with somebody. Read them a book. Share your bed with your kids. Like when they're scared or it's a storm outside and they have a nightmare. Share that bed. As long as they're your kids, of course. You don't want another lawsuit like the Michael Jackson case. Heck, even share your clothes if that's what you want to do. But by all means, people, make sure you teach your kids the definitions of sharing and the limitations of sharing. Because this brings me to the point of this video, the thing that pisses me off. Although this is more of a thing that just disgusts me. It doesn't really piss me off. It just sickens me. And that is when people share food. Yes, you heard me right. Food. You, didn't, you don't need a hearing aid. You heard correctly. It sickens me when pe when I see people sharing their food with someone. Like, like when there's more than one person sharing like one container of ice cream. Or two people eating a salad together. Or anything for that matter. Anything at all that requires a food item, including drinks. It also makes me totally sick when I see people sharing drinks together. I mean, h how do you think things like meningitis and, and other diseases are contacted? Through this very way. And yet, people wonder, why did they get it? Well, duh! Look at what you're doing! Look how unsanitary that is. The things that you're doing are. It's disgusting, people! Now there might be a lot of people out there that's thinking, well, I'm just flat down crazy, I'm out of my mind. Go suck a lemon. But ser but really, honestly, it is unsanitary whether you like to admit it or not. Sharing food, th that's what animals do. Animals share food. They share their water. Or whatever. I mean, I can imagine what what the kids like in Ethiopia and Africa or all these different places are doing that would cause them to get diseases I mean no wonder they get diseases if they're doing things like that of course a lot of their diseases is from contaminated water and stuff but you get the point heck even this cat right here probably got overweight from sharing <laughs> okay that part was a joke I was just kidding but the sharing that I'm mainly referring to is is like the sharing with friends and God forbid strangers or yes even family even just family members it's not good to share food with it's not good to eat out of the same container carton bowl whatever the heck it is that the food is in because you don't know if your family member has a disease that they're just unaware of. And you don't know if sharing could cause a disease even if it didn't already exist. There's only one exception to this rule that I don't really feel is too wrong. And that's the sharing with your husband or your wife. Because you're going to be kissing each other all the time as it is and... Truth be told, yes, you're going to be swapping spit. Hey, get that picture out of here. That doesn't belong on here. Oh, that's dis disgusting, man. There, much better. Kind of basic, but much better than the last. Anyways, as I was saying, but that's the only person that you should be trying to share food or drinks with. Your loved one, your soulmate, your significant other. Not with your friends, who God knows where they've been. It's, it's as bad as when you let a dog lick your face, and you know darn well that their tongue has just been on their butt not long before that. <laughs> Something else that I think people's gross when they let 
animals do. Lick them. Ugh. This completely weirdo psycho girl that I used to hang around with in the past offered me a sip of her drink once and I refused it. And I saw another girl that I once liked. I don't know why now. I saw her show up at a restaurant one time and she started sharing a banana split with these two guys I never saw before. Ooh, I wish I could take this out of the picture and eat it. <laughs> that pizza that I showed earlier, too. Mm. But back to that banana split thing. It's like, that was so disgusting, I was so repulsed by that. I, I just... They're just sleazes, man. I'm sorry, but I, that's the way I feel. It's a sleazy way to live. It's a gross thing to do. You might as well be holding your mouth open and letting somebody blow their nose into your mouth. I mean, it's it's just as unsanitary in the long run. And yes, I might be exaggerating just a little bit. That was kind of gross what I just said. But I'm just trying to get the point across that I just don't think it's right. I don't think people should do it and they should start teaching their kids th the limits of sharing and how far is too far. That's the end of this video. Catch you all later. Feel free to leave your comments about how crazy and weird I am. I don't care. Catch you later.